I really loved um, your spring summer collection. The first thing we want to know is where do you draw inspiration? It's a very light collection. It's uh, in October we were doing much more of a couture collection right. and yet every work was very detailed and of course I reflect where I come from so um, for me right now I really needed to focus on the good things about being in South Africa. Sorry, probably everyone asks you that question. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's right, but it's, it's true though, yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I noticed a lot of, um, there were some Indian inspired, some African inspired outfits and even some native Native American influences I saw there. Where did those all come from? Well, um, perhaps you really just looking at, at a sort of a, I suppose an ethnicity, you know, more than, more than it's, you can't quite pinpoint exactly yeah. where it's from. So it's definitely a bit tribal. It's definitely, well, that's what I do. I reflect where I come from, which is Africa. Right. So, but this is a much more sophisticated, slightly, you know, more uh, constructed uh, derivative from that ethnicity. Now I want to talk about your footwear choice. Yes. Uh, we've seen flip-flops on the runway before for this upcoming spring-summer collection. Yeah. How did you choose the footwear for the, um, for the swimwear section of your show? Yeah. Well, I... I um, I'm quite fascinated by local craftspeople and the way that they engineer footwear out of car tires, out of rubbish, out of um, make things out of flip-flops, you know, all that kind of thing. So I worked with a group of craftspeople that make traditional footwear out of car tires, uh, Zulu footwear. Wow. And uh, they made those shoes for me. So we just kept on working and working. They're not made out of car tires. You'll see those late in my next collection. But they're made out of what they would think there for them now is a more modern version. But we then even boosted it more, put the platforms on. But we still work with young people sitting in a Zulu, a traditional Zulu market, not where tourists go, that make shoes for ceremonies and weddings, you know? So they did that for us. Well, now I want to talk about the more formal side of the show we just saw. How did you choose the closing gown? My wedding dress? Yes. Isn't that what you'd like to wear if you got married on a beach? <laughs> it looks so lovely. <laughs> uh, you've got the right skin tone. Yeah. It'd be perfect. That is our ultimate symbol of upcycling. Uh, I literally hand a little bag of scraps. We never throw anything away. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's part of our generic as well, of our DNA as well. And um, I just literally handed them a bag of scraps and I said, make the most fabulous dress. And, and I have one of, one of my uh, people in my studio that really knows how to make sense out of a bag of scraps. And then I come in and say, oh, let's, so, it's upcycled, couture, couture, everything made by hand. 